July is happening tomorrow. Um, I'm currently camping in the van as you can see and it is literally pitch black here because the sun has now gone down so there's not much to fill you in upon other than we've drove here, we've got here, we've set up our camp and the race is tomorrow but there is a few different events that are going on tomorrow so there's like triathlons and things so there's lots of people here with bikes and there's a lake down at the bottom of the camp as well and of course the run which I'm doing the 10k but there's like half marathons and all sorts of things going on too. That's all there is to say at the moment other than I look like an absolute mess because today I was doing the battle cancer crossfit workout um, with my crossfit gym and yeah I haven't um it's it's been a busy weekend it's been like full of crossfit on friday i got two new pbs and then crossfit today battle cancer and then tomorrow 10k so it's been a whole fitness weekend so far so i will see you in the morning for belvoir castle 10k tomorrow good night I've only really woken up in the last maybe 10 minutes or so because the sun is so bright today. The van is starting to get quite warm. Today the race isn't until, well my wave isn't setting off until quarter past 11. So I don't need to be ready for quite some time. So I've got some stuff for breakfast and I'm just gonna have like a chilled morning. Maybe go and check out where we're gonna be setting off from and the events village and stuff but look at the view because you couldn't see this last night because it was so dark but look at the view that we have from the that we actually get round to doing my part of the run and um, there's already been quite a lot of events that have been going on like uh, triathlons, duathons and I've also seen the marathon set off so far as well but there's like half marathon and all kind of, kinds of stuff going on today 
which is really nice to see because there's just loads of people here like um you know getting all their prep and things done and it's just it's quite a nice peaceful place to be at this moment in time since the reflection of my all other 10ks that i've done this year so far to date i felt like i'd done a lot of city based you know road running kind of 10k events so far and i wanted to do a bit of something different and this one fits the bill so i'm really looking forward to this one i think it's going to be quite it's different to what we've done so far and that was my aim on reflection of the last six that we've done this year is to do something a little bit different that isn't just city road running kind of samey things so this is definitely possibly so far the most unique <laughs> that we're doing this year i will say i don't know if i'm saying the place wrong i thought it was belvoir castle but the guy on the mic when i went up to the events village earlier didn't say belvoir he said something else and now I'm confused to whether I'm pronouncing the place right. If you are from Grantham and you know this place or nearby, I apologise if I'm saying it wrong. Please help me if I am saying it wrong. <laughs> race briefings and things. Standard Sean organisation is that I haven't got a sun hat, I don't have any sun cream, so we're probably going to frazzle in the sun today, but it's going to be a good run. Wish me luck. <laughs> Welcome to Viva Castle. Um, my name's Brian Adcock, I'm your race director. Hopefully you all know that though because you've watched the video. That is kind of the most stunning part of the estate. That's where the Duchess's garden is, where the mausoleum is, and then you'll pop out through a wood at the bottom end there called Briary Wood and onto a pasture on the other side of this wood on the far side of the event. <laughs>
Hold on. Go on, kid. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Wanted to send a cross guy as well. Wanted to Drew Davey, Oliver Shrouded, brilliant work. Wanted to send a cross guy as well. Michelle Smith across the line, well up to you. Absolutely super skill and effort. Absolutely bossing it out to on board play Oliver Schrouder. Congratulations, well done. And you love that and proud on another lap. Finley Anderson looking strong. So do Josie Reynolds and Rachel Sollard. Such a good thing. Hi, Hello. Hello. Oh my god, it's so fucking hot. <laughs> We're going to go for a little post run swim because we have the luxury of a lake. <laughs>
abrupt way to end the video so I figured I'd do a little post-race debrief as we always do on here and it is now the day after because as you could see from yesterday I was absolutely exhausted I was like you know when your head's like nodding falling asleep in the car on the way home so today is a much better day for a debrief so let's begin the terrain that was a trail run <laughs> um i i half expected it because of the the grounds that we were in um and i really enjoyed it actually i think it kind of for at least the first three quarters of the run I definitely felt like it was taking the time off because I was more concentrated on where I needed to put my feet so I didn't fall over um there was definitely hills in <laughs> in this one as well which definitely slowed me down they did warn us about the hills especially the one at the beginning which basically everyone walked up but it was a really hot sweaty day in the forest essentially and there was a lot of really nice lakes and views to see around the course as well which was really really a nice little touch to to that course as well i had a great day all in all so it was only the last maybe quarter of the run that i really started to feel the time drag quite a lot and it didn't help because by that point I was so hungry <laughs> like I could feel it in my belly I was just I was so hungry and the feeding stations that they had came way too early I think we'd only done maybe about two kilometers and there was all you know there was drinks, electrolytes, little bits of sweets and snacky bits and things. So it did come a little bit too early for the 10K, but possibly for the other events that were obviously doing the run, it would have been good timing for them. Um, so I was just really hungry. And of course, because it was a trail run, the time it took me to complete it was much longer than what it would, would have been if it was maybe a road race. Um, or a road event um, so I was running for a little bit longer than what I had been previously which possibly didn't help the hunger <laughs> management within that either because the event started later um, I guess the whole hunger management was completely out of whack on my end but it was a great day um, it was by far one of my favorite events that I've done this year in this little series of mine. I will share that my time, I didn't look at this at all yesterday, um, but they actually sent me a text this morning confirming what the, the finishing time was. And that was one hour, 18 minutes and nine seconds across the finish line for this 10k i still don't know how to pronounce it i feel like when i heard it on the the mic afterwards people were saying beaver be be i don't know it doesn't make sense beaver castle i feel like is what they were saying but i i'm gonna call it belvoir until somebody tells me otherwise so one hour, 18 minutes and nine seconds for Belvoir Castle 10K. 100% the slowest of this series. I 100% expected it with the change of terrain that we've tried for this event, but I had an absolutely great time. I kind of want to incorporate a little bit more trail running into my training regime because I obviously hadn't anticipated it um, for this one. I hope that you've enjoyed coming along with me for this little van tr camping 10k trip. <laughs> I feel like it's been um, quite a different one compared to the usual videos that I have been putting out. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I feel like it's been a bit of a whirlwind and we'll be back in August. It's literally August in about three days, which is so scary. We'll be back in August for the next 10k which is number eight of the year we have ticked off number seven and we're ready to move on to a new month 
for August. So thank you so much if you did come along with me and stayed this far. I will see you in August for another sunny, fingers crossed, 10K.